Hey everyone, my name's Luke, and today I'm gonna be drawing this guy. So stick around. Alright, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be drawing Vegeta. I love Vegeta, he's amazing. He's such a jerk. I love it. It's a great character. Uh, for doing this, I had already done the pre-sketch the night before, and I decided not to go with the uh, uh, anime-style Vegeta, like in the TV show. I felt like that would just be copying what the TV show does and what um, you know the manga does, just because it's the same style. So I thought I would put my own spin on it and see how I would draw Vegeta in my own style. Um, as I've been drawing more and more, I've realized that I've kind of developed my own style without really realizing it. And it's this almost anime, but mostly westernized uh, drawing style. And so I'm laying down the right now the pens, and this is just a flat pen that I'm going to start with. And then later, I'm going to go on and, and trace over um, the, the contours, the silhouette of the figure, the, the external lines with a thicker pen, just to give it a little bit more uh, weight and more uh, gravitas to everything. It's a weird word to use. Now, I went with his traditional Saiyan armor from the planet Vegeta. If you've ever watched the show, I know every woman I have ever met hates the show, but every man I have ever met loves the show. And I, I don't know why that is. I have no idea, but it's just, it's been true in my life so far. And I can't wait to meet a woman who comes up to me and says, Oh, I love Dragon Ball Z. It, it's amazing. I feel like every guy who goes to the gym to work out who is my age, probably works out just because they want to look like Goku or Vegeta or maybe Piccolo, but that's about it. Now, um, I went with the traditional Saiyan armor, which is composed of a, he has like a chest plate, and I think it goes around, it's kind of like a vest, and then the traditional blue Saiyan armor. Um, I guess this is what they wore on their planet, not sure. And... Uh, just went with a very standard pose. Decided not to go Super Saiyan Vegeta, just to go standard Vegeta. So we're gonna see black hair, normal hair, not crazy Saiyan hair. Maybe I'll do a Goku later and have him be Super Saiyan Goku, but in my style. We'll see how that turns out. I'm quite satisfied with the facial features. I feel that they are they convey that this is Vegeta very well. Um, when you're drawing something and when you're trying to make it your own. You want to look at certain things that stick out about the character or about the design that help it be recognized as that character. For example, if you were to try to draw Bart Simpson, even if you're not a good artist, the best way to draw Bart Simpson would be to draw something yellow with a face and a spiky hair on top. A kind of flat, spiky look. Maybe a small nose. And, then, and most people would look at that and say, I guess this is Bart Simpson even if it's a really bad drawing. So when looking at pictures of Vegeta, I went for a couple of elements that really distinguish him as Vegeta. Number one is the Saiyan armor. He always wears it to fight. I don't think I've ever seen him wear something else to fight unless he's like at a party and then a fight breaks out. Number two is his black spiky hair that always spikes to a single point at the top. Um, as opposed to Goku or Gohan or any of the other Saiyans, all their hair kind of spikes in a giant mess. But his is very clean, very, very, um, I don't know, I guess you'd say gelled back. Uh, and it's straight back, straight to a point. And number three is that because his, his hair is straight back, his face is always elongated and angry. So that means a very thick brow, very high cheekbones, and very grimacing look at all times. If you can get those three things down on a page, I'm pretty sure people will be able to guess that it's Vegeta. To give you one more example, just to make sure that it's making sense, let's say you wanted to draw Superman, but you don't know how to draw. Well, you could. the easiest way to make it recognizable as Superman is to draw a red cape and to draw some guy in blue. And then people would look at it and say, I guess that's Superman. You want to pick out these iconic things that stick out on a character's design in order to really sell that that this is that character. So for me, those are the things that I went with. I went with the straight back hair, I went with the angry look, and I went with the armor to really sell that this is Vegeta. 
as you can see, I'm working on uh, kind of the shine of the armor. The show makes everything shiny, even the skin, even the hair. It doesn't matter. The show is very, um, very uh, goes over the top with that, and and that's what the show is about. So I'm not I'm not dissing it at all. I love the show, and that's what it's about. It's over the top, and I love it. Uh, so here I'm laying down some flat blues. You can kind of see on his right shoulder, I guess it's on the left side of the page, there's like that white spot. I'm actually going to come back later and fix that because it should be connected to the white reflection of his, what is that, a bicep? So the, the shoulder muscle, the, the white reflective there should go all the way down to where the bicep is being reflected. And I didn't really convey that very well. So I'm going to eventually go back off camera and fix it. And you guys will see that at the very end. So here I'm laying down a, just a flat skin tone. Didn't worry worry too much about it. I wasn't very satisfied with the hair either. So if I, I go back later and I try to darken it a little bit more. I felt like it came out too gray and Vegeta's hair is black. But if I just draw it in black, it, it's going to lose a lot of the detail. So I don't like doing that. And here I'm laying down a darker blue to contrast the part where the light is is casting uh, a heavy light, then we want a heavy contrast to darkness. Also, where the arm is on top of the leg, I'm going to go ahead and drop a shadow, a cast shadow. That's what you would call that. A cast shadow is a shadow that is placed somewhere because of something else. So if your arm is on top of your knee, for example, or your hand is on top of your knee, and it's covering the light, it's casting a shadow on your knee. When you're doing that, it's less important to get the the shape of the hand in the shadow and more important to get the roundness of the knee or roundness of the whatever it's casting the shadow on so always keep that in mind here I'm trying to darken the hair a little bit um, I don't know how well I conveyed it but uh, so far I'm kind of digging the drawing and now I'm gonna go into his armor his armor is white but since I'm drawing on a tone gray paper uh, I mean tone tan paper I'm sorry about that it's kind of hard to get that white really to pop out. So what I'm going to do is come in with a very light gray and kind of throw in some little shadowy parts so you can kind of see that this is supposed to be white. And then later I try to clean it up a little bit more. So while I was doing this, I started thinking, what do I want in the background? Do I want some geometric shape? And I decided, nah, let's just have some of those like aura things going on. Anyway, uh, let's jump ahead to the end. And this is the final piece. You can see I fixed that part there. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you'll check out some more. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. If you want, you can check out the last video I posted in the link below. There's also Facebook, Instagram, and Etsy links provided here for you to check out and hopefully see some stuff you like. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.